what special affinities appeared to him to exist between the moon and woman, her antiquity in preceding and surviving successive Tellurian generations, her nocturnal predominance, her satellitic dependence, her luminary reflection, her constancy under all her phases, rising and setting by her appointed times, waxing and waning, the forced invariability of her aspect, her undetermined response to inaffirmative interrogation, her potency over affluent and refluent waters, her power to enamor, to mortify, to invest with beauty, to render insane, to incite to and aid delinquency, the tranquil inscrutability of her visage, the terribility of her isolated, dominant, implacable, resplendent propinquity, her omens of tempest and of calm, the stimulation of her light, her motion and her presence, the admonition of her craters, her arid seas, her silence, her splendor when visible, her attraction when invisible.